All right, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Andy Cade. My name's Andy, as always, and here we are back doing my playthrough of Life is Strange. So, uh, in between episodes, I decided to brew myself a nice pot of uh, chamomile tea, also known as sleepy time tea, for you guys out here in the States. Um, it's lovely, and I got my OG Starbucks mug. Well, the logo's on the other side, but, uh, you know, so... pretty hot right now so I'll just be sipping on it during the playthrough but anyway getting back to the playthrough oh geez okay sorry <laughs> I was taking the controller out so anyway last we left off um, we got saved by our apparent BFF Chloe who was the girl that got shot that we didn't recognize so um, that's one of the uh, the weird plot holes about this game and it's kind of explained uh, as far as like why Max didn't recognize her best friend, Chloe. And, like, one of the things is that, oh, she's changed so much over the years. Or the time that they were separated, I guess. I don't know if it's a year, month, something like that. I don't know. It's it's hard to pin down. But, uh, yeah, that's one of, uh, one of my critiques with the game was the fact that Max didn't recognize who the girl was in the bathroom getting shot. But then, as soon as she, like, pulls up in the pickup truck and is like, get in! She's like, Chloe? I guess oh, my God! Uh, no! <laughs> All right, anyway. So, that's just my little, my two cents on the whole topic. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's figure this out, huh? I like the flag, by the way. It's cool. It's cool. Um, what are we doing? Uh, I think we're supposed to find music. Yeah. Look at it. It won't play without any power. Oh, yeah? By the power of Power Strip. I have the power! <laughs> uh, so I got a funny story about that. Um, just getting into some personal stories. So, when I was a kid, um, obviously... I'm a child of the 80s, mid-80s-ish, when I came up. Um, and I remember one day, my parents bought me a space helmet. It was just one of those little cheapo helmet things you wear when you're a kid, I guess. Not like the special needs helmet, but like, you know, it looks like a space helmet. It's got the visor and all that kind of crap. So, I would always go into, uh, like, the front yard or whatever with, like, a sword and I just scream at the top of my lungs, I have the power! Because He-Man and all that cool stuff. And I think, truth be told, that's one of the reasons I have a slight case of tinnitus in my left ear. Because I noticed that um, if I listen to loud, especially loud... Chloe is pretty pissed at me. Shut up, I'm talking! Shut up, I'm talking. Anyway, so... <laughs> um, and it's something I noticed is that... Um, my tinnitus acts up um, a lot when I'm listening to like loud trebly music. If it's bass music, sometimes, but it's mostly treble that you know gets it going. So, and of course, you know, listening to loud music over the years hasn't really helped it too much. But surprisingly, you know, since I was in the Navy, we would have these uh, hearing tests. It was usually like every six months or so we'd have a hearing test, and I'd always pass. And I would do extremely well. So, I don't know. I guess my eardrums are pretty dull gurn resistant. Huh? Or resilient. That's what I'm saying. So, anyway. Alright, so let's put on some fucking tunes while she's toking it up over there. So, let's see what we got here. Look at it. Houston, we have the power. But we need to find a disc to play. You had a chance to make a He-Man reference and you didn't. Shame. Shame. Okay, so we gotta find some discs whilst I sip some tea. Ah, it's still pretty hot. So, anyway, disc, disc. We got desk. No disc. Do 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 do. do. Uh, let's see. Bah, what's that? Okay, Chloe. A metal box under the bed equals secret. Secret. I like secrets. What you hiding, girl? Hey, secret mixtape, 
disc. Yeah! And random little bobbles. Okay. Hey, give me that. Sorry. I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. Jesus. Uh, I'll say it's Rachel Amber. It's Rachel Amber. I recognize her from the, the missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, that. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. Yeah. I was 14. We were best friends. 14, okay. Okay, so... How old are they? So if she was 14 when she left, and Max went to black, what? So it's high school, right? So has to be at least a year to be a freshman. But I'm assuming that she's like a sophomore, junior, probably sophomore. So it's got to be like 16, 17 ish. Anyway, I never forgot. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were going to so kick hot. the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. <laughs> she wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. Yay, Los Angeles. Uh, so what happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Okay. Without me. All right. What about her parents, though? I mean, she has to be at least, you know, as I've established, between 14 to, well, 15 to 16. So what about her folks? What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. It's not just River of Egypt. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. <laughs> my dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Yeah, I was about to, but then you decide to get all deep and philosophical and shit. Anyway, okay. Put on them tunes, girl. Is it on? Yay, not depressing tunes at all. Uh. It's kind of chill. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Jesus, uh, I see it hasn't taken effect yet. Uh, want to get you a bag of Doritos or something? Maybe some Taco Bell? Hmm. I shouldn't bug Chloe now. Plus, I need those tools. All right, jeez. Hmm. Something I'm wondering, <clears throat> and I hope this doesn't happen with this playthrough, but I wonder if, uh, I don't know if this music is copyrighted or anything like that, so hopefully it doesn't get flagged in this video. Just now wondering about that actually. But uh, anyway, let's go downstairs. I think that's where she said it was, right? Okay. Why does it keep doing that? If it's. Okay, another critique about this game. Um, whenever you're entering stuff, okay. So if it's a door, I get it. Cool, you gotta press the button to open the door and go into the place. But if you're going to an open area, like, I don't know, the parking lot downstairs with no object, no door, nothing to encumber you going in there, 
You should just fucking go. There shouldn't be like a, but, a button action being like, Do you want to go under the thing? Like, it should just be natural. You just you fucking go downstairs. Alright, anyway. Let's go uh, fix stuff. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Oh. Fucking why do you do that shit then? Oh, is it here? Oh. Not even an option with that door, huh? Okay. Photos. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Okay. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Okay, so she had longer natural hair back then. I can kind of see why she wouldn't recognize her, but still, like, her fucking face, dude. Like, what the fuck, man? Oh, hey, I got a text from Kate. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, shit, I, I missed that. Okay, hey, Max, always you okay? You want to get tea? Free after four. What? Talk to you later. I think it's gonna. Oh, my guy's an asshole. Oh, right. Hey, look. Apple Jacks. Almost. What's the jar? Look at the jar. I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get. I haven't seen this place in five years. Ah, damn it. Why did it bleed in? Alright. Okay, so five years. Alright. Okay. So she hasn't been in this place in five years, right? Okay, so. They were 14 when they left. So obviously 14 plus five. So that'd make them around 18, 19? Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, nineteen. So it should be between eighteen to nineteen. So I, I okay. So I, I guess I'm a little confused. I thought that Blackwell Academy was like a high school, but it's actually a college, like a, a college college. Okay. And what the fuck is Chloe doing living with her friggin' mom and her stepdad? Like, doesn't, I, I realized that this Rachel Amber person like left, but why didn't she fucking go out and strike out on her own or, or fucking live at her own place? I don't know if she's, I mean, she is going, I don't know if she's going to Blackwell Academy. She was there. I don't know if she's going to it, though. But, like, fucking move out of Mommy and Daddy's place, dude. Like, for real. You keep on complaining about it. Hey, sliding door. That's a little life pro tip. I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. It's cold out here. There must be some autumn in the atmosphere. I say burr. Can I, I guess, I wanna sit. I wanna get my nice little. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel, that would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Yeah, I did that. Me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. Yeah. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Yeah. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. No adults allowed. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. <laughs> Someday they will. I believe in you. Oh, still a little too hot to get in there. Anyway, all right, so let's, uh, let's get up. That was a neat little flashback. I'm assuming it's a flashback, because if it was... No, it is a flashback, sorry. Okay. Oh look, beer. Neato. What's this? Uh, it's kind of cool. Don't mind me, just explorin'. Can I? Oh, okay, it has to be this one. Opens the door. Okay. Let me see. Couch. Fuck y'all couch. 
Let's sit down. Maybe some more memories will come to us. Whilst I sip on some tea. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. <laughs> no way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that <laughs> bottle. Well, tasty. Very tasty. Here, I want to sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. <laughs> Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh, shit, the carpet. There's wine all over. What do we do now? <sighs> Our parents are coming. Cover it up. <laughs> Good times. Good times. Alrighty. Oh. How do I... Oh. I thought I had enough room to clear the chair. Whoopsies! I saw this. Can I look? I guess not. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Is this... Are we in the... Oh. Okay, then. Alrighty. What do we got in here? Open. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwood. Oh shit, plot twist. You want to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Paranoid or interested in job security. Think about it. If he puts up all those cameras, who's going to maintain all those cameras? The security guy. Always thinking. Always thinking. What's next? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. You're a little late on the uh, the plot twist there, Max. Oh, he's a vet, too. Not going to say anything. Anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, not all vets are douches. Just saying. A lot of us are really nice. I'll be at salty. But, you know. Switch on! Oh, what y'all got in there? I, hey! I see, okay. Where, it's not bad. To start. Oh! Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. How can you tell? Hmm. Oh, okay. One of these guns is missing. I hope hmm. Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Anywho, target. Yes, score. Anyway. Hey, look, it's tools. Look at the tools. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. You got a thing? Hey, look. No, okay. Look. Mm, excuse me. Yeah. Ah, eh, shit. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Well then, um, maybe we can. Oh, what's that? Yes, here's some ancient cardboard. Okay, let's rewind just a skosh to skosh. Right there. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I guess I gotta go back a little bit further. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and push this little guy down here. Maybe that'll prevent it from like getting in there or something. I don't know. Let's see if this works. Yeah. All right, turn that shit off. Anywho. All right, and pull. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Yeah, Mad Max skills. Lovely day. All right. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Freaks? What's she freaking out about? She's taking weed, not shrooms. I hope. And again, that. Just saying. Alrighty, uh, da, 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 where? Hey, it's a picture. Let's look at the picture. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf. But hmm. here I am. Yeah. 
I kind of feel that way sometimes when I go to my uh, my good friends' houses, you know, the houses, you know, that they grew up in. I'd always come over to visit and stuff like that. I always get this wave of nostalgia. Stuff! Look at the stuff! Oh, dark. I cannot see anything. Yeah. Light switch. Switch it on. Okay, what do we got? What do we got going on here? Look at the stuff. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Open. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. Fluxatine? I hope she's okay. Fluxatine. Okay, let's read it. Oh, just, okay. What's that? I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm assuming like ADD meds or some shit. I don't fucking know. Anyway, let's go talk with Chloe before she freaks. Oh my god. Which one's her room again? Is that it? No? Is this one? Where the fuck is her room? Okay, no, it's not that, obviously. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Sneaky. Yay, I'm back. Okay, now what? Chloe. Tools. Yeah, tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Neato. Uh. Hmm. It'd take a little more than tools to fix it, dude. You you probably cracked the lens so? or something. I can't fix this thing. Hmm. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. Oh shit. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. Yeah, sure. Let's be honest. I mean, she is my best friend, but, uh, yeah. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you were a ninja. Ninja a Max. Ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh, yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. Hey, you're in the bathroom. So, did you recognize me? Mm, say not at all. Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. Yeah, so that kind of makes sense, but still. Conversation. Again, this is kind of a uh, little bit of a lame way to tie up the whole why didn't Max recognize Chloe when she was in the bathroom kind of situation because, oh, she was dressed different and her hair is different and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But still, like, real talk here, if your best friend your best friend in the whole world decide to change their look up, okay? You know, get a haircut, dye their hair, change, put on different clothes and stuff like that. And you just kind of saw them about, you know, I would guess about seven, ten feet away. Would you still recognize them as your best friend? Like, if you, got, if you could see their face? Obviously, like, from behind, they'd look a little different. But, you know, if you saw their face, you know, or at least heard their voice, like, Chloe talked in the bathroom. But Max was all like, Oh my god, I've got to save the girl. The girl I'd know nothing about. Nah. Anyway. Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, I don't know. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear everything. Oh, the conversation. Okay. Shit. Yeah. I only heard something about money. Drugs. But that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Uh. No, nah, I didn't tell him, nobody. No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Yeah. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? <laughs> that drunk jackass only cares about cash from Blackwell Academy. Don't See? Trust him. I told you. Seriously, I didn't blame Always thinking. Anybody. Always Thanks. thinking. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Hmm. Hmm. 
Put on some tunes. What you got in there? You got Booty Jams 03? I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can't. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we get that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Yeah. Dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> This is like some Linkin Park ass shit right here. Alrighty. So what am I doing here? This day couldn't get any stranger. Roll credits. <laughs> this song fucking rules. Can't dance to be, come on. Rock out, girl. Yeah. Damn. Oh shit. Oh shit. Dude, the music's not even on. It's not even punk at all. Man. Oh jeez. No fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. I'm so. Chill. I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide. All right. Now. Uh, closet. I'm Get in the closet. Get in there. Ah, damn it. Rewind. Oh, wait. Too far. Okay. Alright. Move. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah. Seriously? That happens? Seriously? What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. Ah, jeez. <sighs> One of my guns is missing. Mm-hmm. Go on. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, <laughs> guns, weed. You're tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, step in. I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home. Especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. Yeah. You don't have anything smart to say now, do Get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. Jeez, You're not even dude. a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. Yeah. I was a soldier, Chloe. Was. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. <laughs> because you're such a badass, Max. Let me show you my new toy. Yeah. Yeah. We're not all like that. Just saying. So. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Oh, is that hey. a... Jesus, uh, put that thing down. Jesus. Relax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yeah, no yes, kidding. I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Jesus. Thanks for taking the heat. Way to promote your feminist agenda there, Chloe. Good job. for you and me now. That was an epic win. Ah, Jesus. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hick hole. Okay. Man, that did not go well for me. Ah, shut up. If I want to keep my Black Bull scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody. Even Chloe. Whoa. I have to think about my own future. Nah, that's okay. Okay, so one place we can go. Um, how do we get out of here? What's that? Leave. Leave Chloe's room. Uh, through the window, really? Jesus. <laughs> it's 
Damn. Oh, hey, it's the lighthouse. That's cool. Hmm. Deer and stuff, huh? Isn't this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. Jeez. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? I don't know. Part of the dream, maybe? The exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Yeah. Alrighty, so I think this is a pretty good place to uh, stop for now. And with that said, this is the Andy Son. It's not for now. Thanking you guys for tuning into this uh, playthrough of Life is Strange. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.